Freddie Roach came out to me and he goes, look, how do you feel about uh, Spine Pacquiao? You've been an Aussie. He's fighting Jeff Horn, he's an Aussie. You know, you might cop a little bit of stick about it. I go, look, Freddie, I'm the bad guy of Australian boxing. A lot of people hate me, a lot of people love me. It doesn't bother me, so I'll come out and help your, your, your champion. Training and inspiring Manny Pacquiao um, was an extraordinary experience. And not only do it once, but do it twice to get the core back again. It was unbelievable on my side. The guy's a legend, future Hall of Famer, so many world titles and eight divisions. You know, he's a boxing god when you look down. So for me to, to, to be there helping him, and inspiring and, and running alongside him, training alongside him, you know, it shows where my career is going. Not only the way we train, but um, the friendship we have now is extraordinary. Jim had media, you know, packed to the rafters. And you know, my time came in to, to, to spar Pacquiao. And I was like, I was having my first fight again. I was like, well, <laughs> I'm actually going to do this. I'm out, I'm out here. I'm, I'm going to uh, you know, trade leather with, with the great Manny Pacquiao. So I jumped in there and started moving around with him. And he started doing all these little tricks that he does and, and, and moves that I've seen him knock out uh, Ricky Haddon with and knock out, you know, drop Kaido and stop Kaido with and beat up De La Hoya. And you know, I'm thinking, I hope I don't get caught by one of these shots. <laughs> you know, or else I'll be on the next flight back to, uh, to Sydney. But I handled myself well, and obviously once, once the sparring um, kept going through the weeks, I really got into my groove, and look, I got the call up to go again for the Matisse fight, so obviously I've done something very well. You know, these guys don't have much at all. Um, they're happy with a bowl of rice. Uh, if they're lucky, they'll get a bit of meat with it, uh, maybe once a week. We were running up the, up the mountain this time a lot more. Um, we ran five, six times up the, up the biggest mountain in Serengani. Up there, there were people living up there, little little huts. You know, and for these guys to get to the shops, it'll probably take them an hour and a half. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. It's, it's an unbelievable experience, and, and it definitely has hardened me up to become the fighter that, that I'm moving towards. You know, you're running and you've got threats from ISIS and um, you know Marawi, which is about two and a half hours away by car, just got taken out. Uh, a lot of civilians were, were getting killed. And for, for, for these guys, you know, what better to take out a national hero, you know, to have them on, on, their, uh, on their record. <laughs> um, I'm running next to him, I'm next to him, everything we do. So if that sniper, that bullet's coming through, it's either Pacquiao, it's either me. <laughs> but look, we're safe. And again, this time we had a lot of army with us. It's crazy over there. It's a third world country. It's a kill or be killed survival over there. You know, these guys are hungry and, and, you know, witnessing that firsthand, you know, makes me even hungrier because I know what it takes seeing these guys, the way they live. You know, you've you got to be you gotta be a hungry guy in this game. We just finished the first sparring session and he goes, uh, George, you have uh, anything lined up? I go, oh, we've got a few things in the works. He goes, well, I want you on the undercard. You want to fight? I go, all right, let's see, let's see if you get it done. Next day is done. There's your fighting. This is the fight. Go out there and knock this guy out. I fought a Filipino and he's going to knock him out. <laughs> Knock him out and I'll, 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 uh, I'll be very happy.